Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your start menu. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have a Windows 10 desktop displaying and the start menu can be accessed by clicking right down here in the bottom left where the start menu is or you could actually press the button on your keyboard that looks like that and that is the Windows button. It's usually located to the left of the spacebar near the Alt button. And so if you press that, it's going to open up your start menu. Now if you've pressed it on your computer, you've probably noticed that you have a button Bunch of things over here that probably you've never used before uh, or maybe there are some programs that you use before but the purpose of this tutorial is to include it with only things that are going to be useful as well as uh, in an organized fashion separated by category. Alright, so I see that all of my programs are listed along the left side here. Now one of the goals of today's uh, video is to have you organize all of these things in the start menu. Um, but one of the main questions is what is actually supposed to go over here? Now I use the taskbar down here for all of my main programs. These are programs I use all the time and that's down here at the bottom. These ones should contain all of the programs that you use all the time. So for the start menu, these are going to be programs that you use infrequently, okay? These are things that, uh, you know, maybe you use once a month or maybe even a little less than that. So I use the Microsoft Office Suite quite regularly and I use the Adobe Suite significantly less. So what I'm going to do is right over here is my Adobe Suite. I'm going to show you how to add the Adobe Suite to your start menu. Okay, so you'll find the programs over here. Let's say Animate and I right click on Adobe Animate and I click Pin to Start. And there you go. You'll see Adobe Animate is right up there. Right over here we have Adobe Acrobat. I'll right click on that and go Pin to Start. And you'll see Acrobat will be added as well. And then I'll continue to right click on these and add pin to start on each of these. Now you'll see that as I do this, eventually they populate below each other. And there we go. And I'll add Premiere. All right, so now these icons over here can easily be accessed by clicking on the Start menu and then clicking on any of these to open up the program. Now one of the cool things about this is you can actually customize how these look and how they are organized. So if I right click on any of this, you'll see that I could also remove it from this area. Let's say I didn't want Acrobat over here. I could right click on Acrobat and go to Unpin from Start and that'll remove it from this area. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually click and drag on these icons to move them around. So I just moved Premiere from down here to up here. You could also right click and go to resize. If you wanted smaller icons, you could click on small and it'll give you smaller icons. So then I could organize them uh, based off of size as well. Okay, I'm going to resize these to be minimum, or sorry, uh, medium. And there we go. All right, so this is useful because I could easily click on these, but also you could organize them into groups. So I'm going to click or I'm going to hover right above the top of the group and it says name group. I'll click inside here and I'm going to put Adobe Suite and press enter. And now it's organized by Adobe Suite. As I move down my list of different applications, I'm going to start moving things over by right clicking and going pin to start on some other ones. These are other things that I use infrequently. Okay, so again, these are programs that you use about once a month. As I move through here, I can see all of the programs on my computer. Let's say I want OneNote up here, pin to start. Let's say Paint 3D photos and again I pin to start on all of these settings sure and as I move through there we go and we'll put Windows Defender up there as well okay so again these are all actually I don't know what this one is I'll remove this one okay so here's uh, more programs up here maybe I have a new group and I call it Microsoft Office and press enter and I just want OneNote to be a part of that so then I can move the rest of these out of this area. Okay, now eventually you'll see that uh, it gets pretty crowded. You could actually extend this out by one more time, going just to the right of the start menu, clicking and dragging to extend it out. Okay, and then you can move things around as you wish into that area. Okay, or into any area that you'd like. Okay, and you can name groups. So I'll call this one down here security, and I'll call this one right here. Um, I'll just put miscellaneous, okay? And so that's how you could organize your groups. Now the cool thing is you could actually move entire groups around as you want. 
and you could base these all off of importance. So that way, anytime that I need to use OneNote, I know that I can quickly press the Start menu and immediately open up OneNote. Anytime I need to get to security, right there, and click right there. Now again, this is less efficient than having it on the taskbar down here, which is only one, cl one click, but that's why we use programs that we only typically use about once a month, okay? So if you're checking your virus scan once a month, you go right there, you click on Defender, and uh, that's how uh, you would do that. So that's not something that I necessarily need down here taking up space on the taskbar all the time. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about the start menu and how that works and how to customize it to best fit your needs. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Have a nice day.